Hi everyone, it's Carrie, and welcome back to a, another video. So if you guys don't know me, my name is Carrie. I run Traveling Pony Studios, which is a small crochet business that I created last year to help cover and pay for my horses many, many medical expenses. <laughs> I make a wide variety of YouTube videos covering basically things that like I crocheted in a week, reviewing products, doing market overviews, and weekly type of blogs covering what it is like to run not only one business, but two businesses. <laughs> so without further ado, we're going to jump into this week's video because it is going to be quite a long one. If you're interested in seeing more from the market, you can check out my previous video that I posted on the channel that has a little bit more of like the lead up to the actual market, a little bit more of my thoughts on the market, as well as a little bit more clips from the actual market. This video right here is going to be dedicated to just the overview of the market, what I sold, some of the orders, ETC, so feel free to grab something to crochet because this is going to be quite a long video. Last overview that I did, somebody had asked me about providing pictures on the screen of each order, but I'm not gonna do that for this video, mainly just because of the amount of orders I got. It would be crazy. And a majority of the products I actually do not have pictures of. It is something that I'm working on going forward trying to take a few more pictures and videos of just like my products in general. So I actually do not have pictures of a vast majority of these things, but I included a video that basically shows off my table. And as always, if you're interested in the patterns and you maybe want to see some of the patterns that I use and make that connection there, I have my Google Docs in my description that includes pretty much all the patterns I use. I'm fairly confident it's pretty much updated, but there still might be a few that's not on there, but just make sure and you check if you're looking for any of these patterns because I do try and update it pretty regularly. So the brief overview of this market was, it was my first ever two day event. It was in downtown Woodstock and it was pretty much smack like behind the main street downtown on this little grass venue. I think there was roughly around like maybe 80 or 90 other vendors. I will say there were, I believe three to four other crochet vendors here as well. I was actually directly across from one of them who was selling plushies like me. There was one behind me that was selling more wearables and blankets and then the road down there was another crocheter that does what I do as well. So in terms of how many crochet people were in such a small area and how many crochet people did the same thing, there was a lot. I definitely was very skeptical about that. And I definitely felt bad for some of the other people just because it's always so hard when you have so many people who do the same thing. And especially if maybe somebody else is carrying the same product as you, like the same design and everything, but maybe they are doing theirs cheaper. It's just very difficult when you have a lot of crochet people or a lot of people doing the same thing in the same area. But with that being said, I don't wanna to go too much into it. Like I said, if you want more details, watch the previous video. I go into it more. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the orders. Saturday, I think I recorded most of my orders. I definitely think I missed a few orders on Saturday. Sunday, I feel fairly confident that I did a much better job. Saturday was definitely my busier day going in. Sunday was definitely not bad by any means but granted Saturday it was like a beautiful weekend which definitely helped it was sunny it was cool they were doing like music all day so Saturday definitely had a lot more action because it was also the day before Mother's Day so a lot of people were coming by and getting like cute little gifts for their mothers and everything. Sunday wasn't bad, but it was more like afternoon. I think like after 12, one, the church crowd started coming in. You had people coming in from brunch, all those type of things. But let's get started on Saturday's orders. So to kick off the day, I sold two of my pop-up mushrooms. I sell those both for $12. And so I got $24 right there to start off the morning. The order after that was for a single blue whale. I sell my blue whales for $12, so I just got $12 there. The next order that I got was for my unicorn snuggler. I only had one of these unicorn snugglers and there are one of the mini ones from like the mama made mini book or something. So it's not on my list, but you can look for the book on Amazon, I think is where I bought it. After that, I sold one of my ducks with the tubes. I believe this was the yellow duck. 
After that, I sold one pink rose for $10. This market, I increased my prices for roses. The previous market, I had done them for eight. This market, I did it for 10. The next order after that was a brown and white loaf cat, which I sold for 25. I increased my price on the loaf cats from 20 to 25. From my previous market, I sold a lavender cow, which this is from my own pattern that I created. So if you are ever interested in the pattern, it is in my description on my Etsy and everything. And I sell my mini cows for 35. I sold another black and white cat for 25 after that. I sold a possum for $12. The order after that was for another possum and then another duck with a floaty. So those two together were 62. I sold a horse snuggler for 50. This snuggler had been with me for a little bit. I'd never taken it to the market before and I sold out. So for me, and it might just be the area that I am in since there's a lot of horse people, horse items definitely sold very well, very quickly. I sold another rose after that. I sold one of my pink bunnies for $35 and that is from the baby bunny pattern. I sold another loaf cat. This was a gray and white loaf cat for 25. I sold a single bee for 15. I sold my one lone seal that I had made and brought to this market for $20. I also sold after that a penguin for 20. The order after that was just for crochet flowers that I did. So I sold a rose for 10 and then I sold a sunflower for 15. This market was the first market that I had brought sunflowers to. I just brought single ones. I charged $15 for each sunflower and they did very well. I sold a purple turtle after that. All of my turtles are 20 unless they are special like sunflowers or whatever. I had brought two of the alley corns. So the the Pegasus slash unicorns and the same person bought them and so I sell them individually for 35 so that order was 70. I sold two small items after that a stingray and a possum both of those guys are $12 each so that order was 24. I sold a pink and purple multicolored octopus that is from Burnett Blanket for the yarn. I sold that for 10. Those guys are my cheapest item that I have on the table typically. After that, I sold a sunflower, possum, and penguin. So sunflower was 15, possum 12, penguin 40, I mean, penguin 20. So that all together was 47. After that, I had a few smaller orders. So I sold like an octopus, that was $10. And I sold two roses in two separate orders. They were both $10. I sold one of my hedgehogs. I sold a gray one, so that was 30. I had brought a few hedgehogs. I think I sold all of them this weekend. And I sold a blue jellyfish. I believe this was in more of like a royal blue color. I sold it for 25. I sold my sleepy little lion that has come with me for the past couple markets. It's a pattern by Zero Gravity. I sold it for 45. After that, I sold a sunflower and then I also sold another duck and a tubi and I sold it for 65 together since duck is 50, sunflower is 15. This was the first market that I've done that the ducks actually sold very well. The last market I went to, the ducks got all of the attention and nobody bought one. This market, I think I sold three out of five ducks. I sold a rose bunny and axolotl after that. I sold a unicorn and this was one of my big unicorns that I had and I sold a hedgehog so the unicorn was 55 and the hedgehog was 30 so it was 85 together. I sold a rose bunny and an axolotl for 63. I sold a dog for 25 that's just how much I do my little small dogs at. I sold my last mini lavender cow that I had brought for 35. Sold another black and white cat for 25. I sold one of my turtles for 20. I think I sold my single leggy frog out of the whole weekend. And I priced my leggy frogs for 12. I sold a purple axolotl after that for 18. I sold a pink whale for 12. I sold another one of my pop-up mushrooms for 12. This is probably one of the first markets that the pop-up mushrooms had done decently well at, so I was pretty happy. I sold a teal jellyfish for 25. I sold a rose for 10. I sold a pig 
mini elephant and then one of the roosters for 48 so the pig i had dropped down to 15 elephant was 15 and then the rooster was 18. i sold one of my older bees that i had brought along that was acrylic yarn for ten dollars because i just was trying to get rid of them and i still have a few more that i need to get rid of <laughs> i sold one of my penguins and dinosaurs for 45 i sold the penguins for 20 dinosaur for 25 and this might have been actually my last penguin because i think i brought two i might have brought another one but i definitely sold out of all my penguins i sold a mini koala for 15 I sold two of the mini pandas for 30 together, 15 separate. I sold a rooster for 18, an octo for 10, a sunflower for 15. I sold two roses together in one order for 20. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, these were actually my last two roses. I feel like I brought like nine or 10 roses that day and I had two left because they were kind of off colors. It was a white rose and a pink rose and then one person came up and bought both of them at the end. So I believe that's that one. And then I sold a blue whale for 12. I sold a dog for 25 and then I sold a bunny for 20. This was one of the different bunny patterns that I had tried to do. I didn't love the pattern. So honestly, I was just trying to get rid of them because I just didn't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> And then my last two orders for the night that I have written down was one of them was a possum and then the other one was a mini stingray. So all in all, that was what I have written down for Saturday. I definitely know I missed some of Saturday's orders, so this is not 100% accurate but it gives you a general idea of what i was selling what i sold that day i sold out completely of all of the sunflowers that i brought and i sold out completely of all the roses that i brought it's going to be really interesting on my next market to see if that's the case or if that was just simply because of mother's day because it was literally the saturday before mother's day now we're gonna move on to Sydney's list, which is a little bit shorter. <laughs> so the first thing I sold that day was I sold a chunky bee and I sold a mini elephant for $25. After that, I sold a piece of lavender and I sold a possum for 20. Funny thing was I actually was making lavender at the market Saturday for a bouquet. And when all my flowers sold out, I was like, okay, well, maybe we can do something with this lavender. So we quickly got home from the market at like nine o'clock. We threw together the three things of lavender that I had made and I was just gonna see if it would sell. And I was surprised that I had even sold one right off the bat. And I had also found two pink roses that I forgot to bring on Saturday. So they came along with me on Sunday. So I sold the lavender and possum for 20 because I sold the lavender for eight and the possum for 12. I sold the possum and then a pop-up mushroom for 24, 12 each. I sold two turtles. I sold a pink turtle and then I sold a green turtle. So that order was 40. I sold another piece of lavender by itself for eight. I sold a single possum for 12. I sold a single octo for 10. I sold another one of those bunnies that I had said that I really just wanted to get rid of. I sold that one for 20. I sold a turtle for 20. I sold one of my favorite mermaids that I had made. It was a turquoise color mermaid. Love it. I sold that for 35. I sold two turtles for 40. I sold another one of my octopus for 10. Then after that, I sold a gray and white cat and a pink axolotl for 43 together. I was kind of running low on cats, I think, that day. I believe I only had three, maybe four left going into the Sunday, and I thought I brought nine or eight. I'm not 100% certain. I sold a pink dino for 25. I sold two possums for 24 and these were actually my last possums that I had brought. So at that point I was completely sold out of possums. I sold one of my dragons and I sold an axolotl for 83 together. The dragon I believe was 65 and then the axolotl was 18. The dragon was my favorite color combo that I always say from Sweet Snuggles Light. It's the kind of like teal ice cream color with yellow. It's my favorite color combination that I've done yet. After that, I sold a mini koala for 15. I sold a mini mallard for 18. I sold a blue jellyfish for 25. 
I think I had brought five jellyfish. I think I came back with four. The jellyfish pattern is not in my dock, but it is just a free pattern that you can find on Instagram. Just type up like jellyfish free pattern. It'll come up. I think I had made a video a couple while back about free patterns on Instagram that you can also go there if you want the specific account name. After that, I sold a stingray for 12. I sold another pink dino for 25. So I had brought one pink dino that was like pink with hot pink stripes. And then I had brought another one that was hot pink with pink stripes. So those two sold. I sold my last dog that I had for 25. I sold another whale for 12. I sold a cat for 25, I believe. This was one of my gray cats because my last couple of cats I had left were gray and then a mustard color one. I sold one of my really large bunnies for 50. I believe this was my white bunny holding a pink Easter egg. I sold one of the pink roses that I had brought along that day for 10, a rooster for 18, an octo for 10, and then I guess I sold my last penguin for 20. So I was out of penguins. I sold my last rose for 10. I sold another pop-up mushroom for 12. I sold a stingray and an axolotl for 38. This was my larger stingray, not the mini stingray. So this stingray was 20 opposed to 12. I sold an octopus and an axolotl together for 28. A chick for 18. I sold a cat for 25, a pink octo for 10, a purple axolotl for 18, another octopus for 10, a pink butterfly for 40. I had made three butterflies, I believe, a couple months ago, and this was the first market that I actually had a butterfly sell at. So I was pretty happy about that because they take up a lot of table space and I probably won't be making them again. And the next two orders for my last two cats. So they were 25 each. After that, I sold another frog. So I did sell two leggy frogs this week, which is probably the most leggy frogs I've ever sold. So I sold that one for 12. I sold a mini triceratops for 15. I sold another mini triceratops for 15. And then to close it out, actually, I am mistaken again. I sold a pop-up mushroom and then my last leggy frog for a 24 together. So all in all, I think that's pretty much most of my orders. Like I said, Saturday, I definitely missed some, but Sunday, I feel like I did a much better job of writing everything down. But honestly, with the hustle and bustle of a market, I would not be surprised if I had even missed some. All in all, I was very proud of myself for doing this two day market. I was really putting myself out there. It was a lot more hassle of just like figuring out everything with my own barn. And this was a much further drive. I think it was about 40 to 50 minutes for me to get there. Typically I do markets that are like 10 minutes, 20 minutes away. So it was just like another factor that I had to take into account for the whole weekend. So we're gonna go on square so I can break this down for you guys. So I had a lot of credit card, but at the same time I had a ton of cash. I think this was the first market that I would say cash like way surpassed like Venmo, anything like that. Like I was having a real hard time with the cash and I definitely learned my lesson that moving forward for my next market, I'm counting my cash beforehand and then writing down the amount. So then that way I can definitely give like a for sure answer on like how much cash I made. I know the general almost number of how much I did make this weekend. So the square does not reflect cash and Venmo, but it is the easiest number that I can give you that is documented. So between the two days on Square, I made $1,899. Like I said, this does not include Venmo and cash, which I got a lot of cash. I was very shocked by how much cash I got. So Saturday's numbers on Square, I made about 1,218. Sunday, I made $681. Comparing that to the market that I did on April, the Saturday number wasn't that far off. That market, I had made $1,000. $105. This market I had made $1,218. So really the numbers weren't that far off on Saturdays, but I had Sunday to help me out. And then as well, like I said, cash, FEMO, all the other ways to pay. I had 76 sales on Square and the average sale price was 25. 
Now, when I sat down and kind of added everything up between Cash, Venmo, Square, my rough number, and I'm not gonna give a specific number because quite frankly, I don't recall it off the top of my head. I made roughly around $3,000. I might have made a touch more over $3,000. I just really can't remember. But the fact that I even made that much is kind of mind blowing. It's honestly so crazy for me to think about. So if you watched the previous video, I'll also go more into like that, my thoughts, how I reached that number a little bit more. I'm not going to go and over that in this overview but if you definitely want to hear why i think i made that much money then check out that video because that's going to be your good video to watch but yeah i'm honestly was so shocked by that number it was pretty busy most of the time saturday sunday was maybe a little hit or miss but it was a great weekend we had beautiful weather the people were really nice for the most part and it was just an enjoyable time that I got to spend with my own mother for Mother's Day. So looking forward, I have my next market on June 9th. It's 12 to 6 p.m. And if you guys are local to Georgia, feel free to come out. I'd love to meet some fans, but it's gonna be at the Avalon. If you want more details, make sure to head over to my Instagram. And if you want, make sure to head over to my Instagram just in general because I am posting a lot more daily content on there. And you can see a lot more of like behind the scenes and a lot of orders and customs that I never post on YouTube because I always forget. <laughs> Without further ado, that is going to be all for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this helps you figure out maybe what you should make or maybe some good price points for your own items and I will see you guys for the next video because it is going to be a very fun video but if you are following my Instagram then you already know the secret but I'm not gonna say it on here. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.